A leading loyalist dissident has been shot dead in the Shanko Road area of West Belfast. He was Frankie Curry, who was in his mid-40s. His death has led to fears of a violent loyalist feud. While Belfast was bathed in festive sunshine, murder returned to the streets this afternoon. Frankie Curry was shot several times in the back of the head outside a pony club near the lower Shankill. Three men, at least one of whom was wearing a balaclava, were seen running away across waste ground. Curry is the nephew of former UVF leader Gusty Spence. He was imprisoned several times for terrorist offences. Seen here with murdered LVF leader Billy Wright, Curry has been regarded as a dissident. Recently he was expelled from a UVF-linked terror group, possibly because of his opposition to the peace process. Curry was linked to the Red Hand Defenders, who admitted killing Rosemary Nelson on Monday, and who are responsible for recently murdering a number of Catholics. But Curry denied any involvement, claiming he was being set up for murder. John White of the UDA's political wing, the UDP, was with him shortly before he died. There's uh, quite a lot of um, misrepresentation of Mr. Curry in the media recently, and trying to associate him with various paramilitary groups. And uh, they were very on through the stories that were been put out uh, about Mr. Curry. I've spoken to him on many occasions about the stories that were in their paper, and he refuted every one of them. Frankie Curry's paramilitary allegiance is still a matter of some doubt tonight. The Red Hand Defenders has denied he was a member, but it's also blamed the UVF for the killing and threatened to take military action against that group's political wing, the PUP. But there is strong speculation that he was targeted by mainstream loyalists for his defiance of the leadership. In either case, his murder has fueled the sense of the political vacuum being filled by violence. Tony Connolly, RTE News, Belfast.